session we have uh, focused uh, to a large extent on time homogeneous markov jump process right uh, just to quickly uh, recap whenever we are talking of a markov jump process first of all we are talking of this particular process having a a discrete state space only a four or five or finite number of uh, states existing and this operating in a continuous uh, time and the process follows markovian property right when i am saying the process is following a markovian uh, property as we all know the the future value of uh, the process is completely dependent only on the current value and not all the values of the past so that is where uh, we are bringing in uh, the markovian uh, jump process and uh, whenever we are looking at uh, computing the probabilities pij the probability pij in any markovian process we say that uh, the probability let's say i am bringing in even a time period into picture if i am saying pij of uh, s comma t which is nothing but uh, the probability uh, of uh, the process the probability of the process x being in a state j the process value being j at time t given that the process is in state i at time s this is what we talk of as pij s comma t now in the time homogeneous case when we have discussed the time homogeneous case i'm not really that much bothered about the s and t separately right i mean uh, there we were primarily uh, looking at uh, uh, the relation that uh, whatever is s and t we are not specifical about the exact values of s and t this would have got written to us as good as t minus s means the probability of the transition is only dependent on uh, is only dependent on the is uh, on the time interval this particular uh, transition so probably it is as good as saying the pij 1 comma 4 is same as pij 2 comma 5 or it's even same as pij 10 comma 13 in case of a time homogeneous kind of a process what does this uh, statement mean the probability of transition the transition probability pij of, uh, from time s to time t depends only on the time interval it does not depend on the actual time period how do i look at it let's say uh, when we have uh, used the scenarios of uh, uh, a driver discount right if if an accident has been uh, made in the next one year then the discount is decreased if there are two accidents that are made in the next one year the discount is even further decreased so if i want to find out the probability of the discount uh, at the end of the next 3 years then it really doesn't uh, matter whether this person had driven uh, whether this person had a 15 years of driving history or a 5 years of a driving history 
because uh, I am more looking at from the current period onwards. I am looking at uh, the accidents, the probabilities of the accidents being made in the next uh, year, the next uh, to next year. So, what is typically uh, coming out is whether uh, even if the person is of a 5 year driver or a 0 year experience driver or a 15 year experience driver, it hardly matters. But when I am talking about uh, a time inhomogeneous process, all that matters is these are all not equal. The probability of moving from state I to state J from 1st to 4th year is different from 2nd to 5th year, different from 10th to 13th year, which means the absolute values of this S and T are really important in the time homogeneous process, time inhomogeneous process, whereas the absolute values of S and T are really not important. It's only the difference T minus S that is really important when I bring in the time homogeneous Markov process, Markov jump processes. So this is what is the relationship that uh, holds true whenever I talk about P i j s comma t. If at all I find this kind of a relationship holding true, then I look at it as the Markov uh, jump process uh, in a time homogeneous uh, manner. Otherwise, I am looking at it as a time inhomogeneous Markov process itself. So, whichever uh, process uh, where I see that the transition rates, the transition probabilities and the transition rate matrix that I get, if it is constant over time, the transition rates are constant over time, they don't change with time, then we are calling it as a Markov, uh, sorry, time homogeneous Markov jump process. Otherwise, it is going more and more as time inhomogeneous kind of a process itself. So, uh, to a large extent, uh, we have seen a few examples which are more targeted towards the time homogeneous Markovian uh, process. So, the only thing or only major differentiation we will uh, bring out when we discuss uh, about the time inhomogeneous processes is there we were, we were doing most of the examples and numericals with the focus of the time interval in mind. But here we are focusing both on the absolute values also of the time. That's the only major difference. We will be dealing with the same chapman kolmogorov equations, we would be uh, dealing with uh, the same uh, uh, forward uh, differential equation, the backward uh, differential equation, all of them will remain more or less one and the same, with the only difference being I am more bothered about uh, the time intervals right now, uh, the, the actual time, uh, not just the interval, but even the timing of the starting of the process and the ending of the process as well. So, just to see uh, uh, the change here, when I look at the chapman Kolmogorov equations, when I am looking at the chapman Kolmogorov uh, equation, wherein uh, we have uh, simply uh, looked at in case of 